Hi everyone, hope you are doing great. My name is Neha and I am a certified Abacus trainer from ADA, that is Achiever Destination Academy. Alright, so in today's class we are going to learn about the basic of this Abacus, what this Abacus tool is all about and how do we do, how, uh, like, we do the calculation on this Abacus. So let's get started. First, let me give you the introduction of this Abacus that why do we use Abacus. We use Abacus just for the two things. One is the speed and second is the accuracy. If I give you the example, um, suppose if I ask a question to the third grade kid like can you do plus 3, plus 2, plus 5, minus 4, what will be the answer? What do you think the third standard kid can tell me the answer? No. And the same question if I ask with the kid who is doing the abacus as well. So if I ask what is plus 3, plus 1, minus 4, plus 5, plus 2, plus 2. He will give me the answer ma'am the answer is 4. So this is the speed. Like as I have finished the question the kid has given me the answer. And accuracy the 99% assurity that your answer will be correct while doing the abacus. So, the tool which is in my hand, this is known as the Abacus tool. Alright, so let me give you the introduction about the Abacus tool. The black colored boundary line, which you can see, this is known as the frame of the Abacus. The complete thing is known as the Abacus tool. The black color line, that like outside boundary, we can say that, this is called as a frame of the Abacus. This is the colorful ones which you can see. These are called the beads. What it is called? It is called beads. As you can see, a one line, a single line is dividing these beads into two parts. So, the lower one, this, the lower one, this is called as the lower beads. We call uh, it as earth as well. Earth, which is at the ground level. And this one, a single beat, which is at the up. This is known as the upper beat. Upper beat we call it as a um, heaven we can say that so this is our heaven this is our earth all right yes yeah so these are called as a beads and beads are divided into two parts this is called the lower beads and this is called the upper beat and this is the line which you can see in between which is dividing these beads this is called as a value bar value bar means this will show us the answer. Value bar means it will represent the value of this abacus which is known as the answer. Later on I will show you how this value bar works. The white colored dots which you can see in between. These are called the unit dots. Now what are the unit dots? Um, when we say any number imagine 236. So which number is at the unit place? 6. So whatever the number we will represent at the unit place will represent over here at the unit dots. So these are called the unit dots. And these the uh, we can say that the line on which the rods are attached, sorry, the beads are attached. This is called as a rods in between. Alright. So let's do a quick revision. The black color outer thing is called as a frame. The colorful one is called as a beads. This one is known as the lower beat. This one is known as the upper beat. The line in between is known as the value bar which represents the value of the abacus. The dotted one, these that white dot is known as the unit dots. And the thing on which this rod or like beads are attached, this is known as the rods. So this is all about the basic abacus tool. So before starting, I just want to have one question. Like if we are, if I ask to a kid of the third standard, like how many now, till how many countings you can do on the fingers. Generally, the kid will, kid will give me the answer ma'am 10, right, till 10, like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, like this, 5 and 5, 10. So what we do in the, like when we teach the class, like a backers to the kids, in the first class we show them some magics with the numbers. That is like in the first class we taught them to do the countings till 99 on the hands and how to do that now i'll represent the same thing with my fingers and the same thing on the abacus all right yeah so this is how much we will ask them this is one this is two this is three and this is four 
so we can see that the, there are four like beads on the lower side so these are my four beads each value is one if i do like this this is one two fingers means two value three value and the four value right and my thumb is like upper bead upper bead is only one which is different from all the four beads so the value of this upper bead is five now this is my five 